Hi, I'm David Kerr and I'm one of the instructors for the Guitars for Vets program. Today I'd like to share a few tips and tools on how to change a string on the guitar. So the first thing you got to do is have music for this. So we'll have some good music here and there are lots of different ways to do this. It's just how I do it. So if you see something not familiar with, it's just how I do it. Um, I just want to offer some tools on how to do this. So the first thing we do is come down here and we loosen the guitar string. It would be like that. If you don't have that tool, a lot of times you can have a string winder. Okay. You just wind this, unwind the string to take the tension of it off. When you get the tension of it off, you can cut it. If you put the strings on correctly, it'll just come right off like that and you won't get poked in the finger. Getting poked in the finger is not fun. Down here on this end, the string winder, that little groove here, is designed to pull this pin out. So you would push this in and pry up. A lot of times that doesn't work if this is worn out. This isn't working as it is. So the next step I would recommend is this new tool from Music Nomad. It's a pin puller for an acoustic guitar and they make some cool stuff. They do make some cool guitar polish. And this available at Sweetwater Music. So we're gonna see if this works. But first, if you don't have one of these little gadgets, you can very gently work this up with a pair of side cuts, but be extremely careful. It is doable though. But we're gonna try this new tool out here. Kinda slides in, and it pulls it right out. So that's pretty nice. So when the string goes into the guitar, when it's tight, the ball end of the string is not going to be on the bottom of the pin. It's going to kind of be wedged up in there. And so when you pull that string up through and push the pin down at the same time, you should feel that seat up into the pin. So be careful that it's not on the bottom of the pin. Okay, so we're just going to take that string. What I like to do is just put a quick bend in there, kind of help the string have a guide. We're gonna push that down in there. Now this pin has a groove side in it. There's a little groove in there. So that groove is gonna face the headstock. You're gonna push it down. Pull that up and seat that. It's worthwhile to straighten up your pin here so the hole is going this way so you can just put the string in, pull it straight through. As a general rule of thumb here, I just come in here and I fan my hand up about that much. And then over here on the peg, I just I put a bend in there very quick. So I've got a measurement on where that is. Now this next step is going to be something where you're going to want to try. You get the string, you get one wrap on top and like three on the bottom if you can. Or if there's just, you know, two on the bottom. You don't want one on the bottom. You want at least two, two or three. So how we do that. As I grab and I wrap around the top of the post and I come back into this hand position. My index finger is holding the string down to guide it. My other fingers are holding the string up to retain the tension. And then you can take a string winder and as you begin to wrap, you've already wrapped the one around the top. You just wrap continually down So the next consecutive wraps are beneath the string. And you just wrap that up. If you're like me and you like tools, you can grab this little doodad, zip it right up, 
take the time to turn the string, the, the peg so it's poking out away from the other string when you go to snip it. And you want to take the flat side of the side, cut, side cuts up to the post. And I'm going to cut this one a, a little bit long intentionally. So if you do have a little bit poking out there, you take your side cuts and gently, at the very least, you know, push that down so you don't run a risk of getting poked in the, fin in the finger there. One last little trick for tuning up here. When you get it to tune, we're going to stretch the string a little bit like this, just all the way down the length of the string. And the tuner's going to show how much of that I pulled out. And you tune it up again. One more quick little tug. You can see how it didn't hardly take anything out. That'll help your guitar stay in tune. So that's pretty much it. I hope that helped you. And I'd like to say thank you very much, veterans, for what you do. God bless all of you. I hope to play guitar with you someday. Thanks a lot.